Today we're making peanut butter banana berry baked oatmeal. It is an easy and healthy breakfast option that is perfect to make ahead of time and have ready for the whole week. So here's how to do it. First, you're gonna mash up two bananas. I used frozen because that's all I had, but obviously you could use fresh. Then mix in one fourth cup of creamy natural peanut butter. Add in two cups of oats, one teaspoon of cinnamon, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a sprinkle of salt. Then add in three fourths cup of almond milk or the milk of your choice. Mix it all together and stir in half a cup of blueberries. Then you're gonna transfer the mixture to a greased eight x eight baking dish, spread it out and top with more blueberries and a sprinkle of cinnamon. Then you're gonna bake at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. Let cool completely and cut into squares or slices. Top with more peanut butter and berries and enjoy. This was such a fast and easy dinner. You are gonna love it. We cut up the steak and mushrooms into bite-sized pieces, and then we seasoned it really, really well with lots of garlic powder, salt, two tablespoons of olive oil, lots of pepper, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, and then we tossed all of that together, the mushrooms and the steak, put it in our air fryer. I baked it for six minutes at 400 degrees and then I shook it up and baked it for another four minutes and it was perfect. Alrighty guys, today we are making the ultimate hangover breakfast. Begin with getting some smoked bacon onto an oven dish and then into the oven at 190. Then grate three large potatoes, squeeze out all the liquid and then do the same to one onion. Once you've done that, add the ingredients to a bowl and season well with pepper, salt, garlic powder, and add a beaten egg. Mix in well, then get a pan on a medium heat, add butter, let it melt, and then into the pan and press down well. Cook for a few minutes, then flip and cook the other side. Then get eggs into a pan, cook those through, and then get your bacon onto the hash brown, followed by the eggs, and season well with salt and pepper. Then grate an unhealthy amount of cheese on top, Get it under the grill for a couple of minutes and then add chili flakes, dry chives, and there you have the perfect breakfast to sort out your hangover. This is homemade Nutella. Let me show you how to make it. Roast at 350 for 10 minutes. Rub the hazelnuts with a kitchen towel to remove the skin. Transfer to a food processor, add cocoa powder, powdered sugar, and give it a whirl. It'll start out crumbly and it'll slowly start to become more and more creamy. It can take up to five minutes. Then you can spread it, bake with it, dip it, or just eat it on its own. So good. You get an air fryer for Christmas? I hope so because I have the best zucchini fry recipe for you. They're way better than regular fries and healthier too. I'm even gonna give you a screenshot of the whole recipe so you can make it. Or you can visit my site domesticsuperhero.com where I share the recipe with you too. Let's make these zucchini. What you're doing, these are some of the best turkey meatballs I've ever made. I started off with a pound of ground turkey, a cup of shredded zucchini, a few cloves of garlic, cilantro, cumin, salt, pepper, cayenne, a little bit more garlic, an egg, Egg and some feta and then you combine it all I browned them on each side for about two minutes each before I threw them in a 425 degree oven for about 10 to 15 minutes I served mine on top of some greens some feta avocado let's make sushi first soak 360 grams of water with kombu thoroughly wash 400 grams of short grain rice soak rice in kombu water for 10 minutes discard kombu Cook rice for 15 minutes on medium heat. Combine rice vinegar, brown sugar, and salt in a saucepan. Heat just until the sugar and salt dissolve. While warm, add the kombu. Add 132 grams of your vinegar mix. Cut your tuna. Fantastic. We are back with another kitchen abs recipe, vegetarian edition. <laughs> and tonight we're gonna be making stuffed bell peppers. Start with a skillet. Add a little bit of olive oil. Do a cup and a half of already cooked rice. I use this one. A 13 ounce can of black beans, drain and rinse. One cup of frozen corn, I use white. Slice up half a tomato. Chop up half of a small white onion. Chop up a cup of bell pepper. Add a little bit of cilantro. A pack of taco seasoning, I use a 30% less sodium. Two and a half cups of vegetable broth. 
Cook on medium to high heat for about 15 minutes. Set your oven to 350. In the meantime, we're going to make these into little bowls. Cut them in half. Make sure you cut the veins out and get all the seeds out and wash it. They should look a little something like this. You'll know it's done when it gets creamy like this. Scoop as much as you want of this into your bell pepper bowls. Should look something like this. Now top with whatever cheese you want. I'm using pepper jack. I'll bake on 350 for 30 minutes. Should look something like this. Cut and enjoy. <laughs> This breakfast bruschetta is a total game changer. Start off with a piece of toast, spinach, peppers, onions, tomatoes, cheese, red pepper flakes, Italian seasoning. Put it in the oven for five to 10 minutes. Grab your favorite hot sauce and voila. I just threw together a quick meal prep. I did um, five ingredient chicken fajitas in the crock pot off of my client's meal plans. And I'm gonna show you how to make them. You're gonna add your chicken breast, your sliced up veggies, your fire roasted diced tomatoes, all of your seasonings to the crock pot and cook on high for four hours. Once it's done, you're gonna use two forks to shred it all the chicken up. All right, then for serving, there's so many different options. You can do it on top of rice cauliflower, you can do it on shredded lettuce, and we're gonna try these jicama wraps from Trader Joe's. And then you just top it with a little bit of sour cream. When I tell you guys I think this is the best meal I've ever made, I mean it. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to make some red wine braised short ribs. Trust me, you are gonna want this recipe. I'm starting off with four short ribs that I seasoned with kosher salt heavily. I'm going to let those set aside for about an hour so that they can come to room temperature. While those are coming to temp, I'm going to chop up an onion, celery, some carrots, and smash some garlic. I left the carrots in some bigger chunks so that they don't get really mushy when it all goes in the oven. Then using my Dutch oven, I'm going to heat up some avocado oil, sear my short ribs on each side, do not flip them until they have a crust that looks like that. Then set those aside and add in your onion, celery, and carrots and let that cook for about a minute. <laughs> then you can go ahead and add your garlic cloves, a big spoonful of tomato paste, and the secret ingredient, some mushroom powder. Then you're going to deglaze the pan with some red wine, add a carton of beef stock, throw the ribs back in, they go in the oven for two hours at 400 degrees. It's so good if you guys try it, be sure to tag me and hit that follow button for more easy recipes. These orange jello slices are a fun twist on a classic childhood snack. First of all, you'll need to squeeze the juice from about six large oranges into a measuring cup topped with a sieve to remove any pulp. You want to end up with a total of about two cups of juice and make sure you save the orange peels after you juice them. Now in a separate bowl, combine unflavored gelatin powder with half a cup of your orange juice until it has mostly dissolved. Add this mixture to a saucepan, then pour in the rest of your juice. Turn the heat to medium high and stir the mixture until the gelatin has completely dissolved and the liquid is just barely simmering. At this point, you can remove it from the heat and strain the mixture one more time to ensure a super smooth finish. While that cools slightly, you can prepare the orange peels to be filled by scraping out all the pulp with a metal spoon. Transfer the clean orange halves to a muffin tin, which will keep them upright while you fill and chill them. Carefully pour the orange juice mixture into the empty halves, filling them almost completely to the top, then refrigerate for at least four hours or overnight until they are completely set. Now you can slice them into wedges and serve immediately. These cabbage lists. Take your breakfast quesadilla to the next level. It's also a great way to use up leftover tortillas. First things first, you want to scramble an egg. You then want to make a cut halfway down your wrap or tortilla. Add your fillings to each quarter. I've gone with avocado, bagel seasoning, your egg, cheese, and tomato. Fold each quarter in so you get a cute little pocket in the end and then toast it. I'm telling you, breakfast will never be the same again. Okay guys, this is my extra crispy lasagna. Put some ricotta and spinach inside some cooked lasagna, place it in a baking dish with some tomato sauce, top with more tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese, bake at 375 for 20 minutes. Look at all those crispy edges. This is the easiest way to impress your guests with this beautiful and delicious baked brie. First, roll out a sheet of puff pastry dough on a lightly floured surface, then add your brie cheese to the center. Spread your favorite jam on top, that is optional, you don't need to do that, then flip it over. Gather all sides of the dough to the top, then cut off any excess dough. Flip the wheel over, seam side down. I made this cute little bow design out of the extra dough, but you don't have to. Bake until super golden and crispy and gooey on the inside. Serve with crackers and enjoy. Today I'm showing you how to make deep fried ice cream. Over here I have a tub of ice cream and I'm going to scoop my ice cream. Then wrap the ball of ice cream in the saran wrap. Grab your ice cream from the freezer. You're going to unravel, pop it into your all-purpose flour, into the egg, in the breadcrumbs, and carefully place it into your oil. Keep on moving it around to fry up all the sides until golden brown. Now scoop into it. Look at that. Cheers. Let's give it a try. Mmm. That is incredible. I'm gonna make tonight Panzerotti Napoletani. Just watch. Approximately four cups of uh, leftover mashed potatoes for today. Two eggs, about a half a cup of prosciutto, but you can use salami, ham, whichever you like. About a quarter cup or so of Parmesan cheese and parsley. 
put it all together, mix it all together until it's well blended. When it's done, get a handful, shape it, stuff it with mozzarella cheese, close it up. When they're all shaped, dip them in the egg wash and straight into breadcrumbs. Roll them. When you're done, put them in the refrigerator for about an hour. Fry them medium to medium high heat for about three to five minutes until they're golden brown. My childhood favorite. Try one. Mm.